Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Toy and I'm coming to you guys with another video talking about um, do you have a business or a hobby? Business or a hobby? Now I said that I was going to talk about that briefly um, in a different video on my last video. So here I am. Thank you for chiming in with me. Um, when you think of a business... You think of a structure set up to bring in or provide resources to bring in money. Now, those resources may be um, a product or a service that assists the public or assists someone with their need. That is my definition of a business, right? But it brings in a flow of money. And I think that's the big difference with a hobby. So... For my company, the Dream Loud Inc. Publishing um, Company, uh, I started it a long time ago. And again, I will talk about my journey to my company um, in a different video, but I started it years ago. But I was timid and shy, and I was doing things in the background. I was publishing my work. I was publishing other people's works under the table, helping them get their book press ready, helping them um, with the editing, helping them with the story flow, the direction, with mentorship, with um, a writing coach, just helping them with all those services. But a couple things was going on. Um, and number one, I wasn't charging to my potential because I was timid, I was shy, and I was scared. I was fearful and didn't know how my business would be received if I just really, really put it out there. So I was doing this for a very, very long time. There are books out there that I assisted in publishing that are not my own, um, that are out there currently right now. Um, but nobody will ever know because, um, you know, I did things in the background. And then number two, I realized that it wasn't bringing in a stream of income for me. It wasn't bringing in money for me um, to the best of my ability uh, because I wasn't putting a price point on my services or products. I was giving my books away. Um, I was doing things for free. Um, and a, a couple things that helped me out with really just building up my self-esteem when it came, came to business, because, um, I was, I was able to really put things into perspective, see what I was capable of doing, see what I needed to work on doing and see how I needed to really just up my game in the business world. I'll tell you right now, if you are starting a business, um, it is a tough, tough world out here. It is challenging, but it is worth the fight if it's something that you are passionate about. And so when you talk about a business and then you talk about a hobby, um, there are clear, clear differences. And I think a lot of people are walking around with hobbies, calling it their business. Hello, somebody. I was doing it for many, many years. I was walking around saying, oh, my company, oh, I have a business. Child, I even went as far as getting me some business cards made up, right? Had them all printed up. I was passing them out. I had my company name on there um, and then my name on there, but I wasn't acting as a business entity. I was not acting as someone who owned their business, someone who had a team, someone who was providing resources and products to the general population who needed these services. I wasn't acting accordingly. And so I, I'm pretty sure people will look at my business card like, okay, okay. But one thing with me is that the majority of people around me um, or that knew me or know me um, knew that I was into publishing, knew what I was capable of, and they used me to their advantage. People will do that. They will use you to their advantage until you stand up for yourself and you begin to put a price point on your services and your products. It wasn't until I started sending my price list. In the beginning, people was like, oh, could you help me uh, with my manuscript and stuff? And I'm like, sure. And I'll meet up with them at the Starbucks and I'll go everything and help them get their book out there and everything and didn't walk away with a dime. But I spent my energy and my time and my knowledge that I've learned over time on their product um, or, or on their book. 
now when people ask me, hey, can you help me with my manuscript or whatever? I immediately be like, sure. Go to my website at thedreaminkhouse.com and go ahead and, um, you know, uh, pay for a consultation. Once you pay for that consultation, I'll send you a link within 48 hours and we'll go ahead and get on the consultation call um, or video, whatever works for you. And we'll talk about your book. Other services, editing, whatever it is, people would ask me, hey, can you do this? Can you do that? Sure. Let me go ahead and direct you to my price list. You let me know which service works best for you and let me know and then I'll get right back to you with a date and time that I can provide that service for you. You get what I'm saying? So when you begin to put your attitude towards your services and towards your products, um, and your uh, price list towards them, then people will adjust accordingly and they know you mean business and then they'll begin to, um, when they think of you, they'll be like, oh, okay, let me just go to her website and, and you know, purchase this and purchase that instead of just trying to personally call you. When it comes to business, even if you know me like that, when it comes to business, everyone knows Hit me up through my um, my website. Um, I do have a team. Someone will get back to you. You know what I mean? So do not feel like you can text me on my personal cell phone and say you need this done and you need that done. Separate the two. Separate a hobby from business. People will begin to respect you for it. And so that is my motivational tidbit um, today. And those of you guys who are starting out your business, um, you know, go for it. But just separate business from hobby. Separate the two and understand that it is a big difference. That is all for now. Thank you guys for joining me on my video. Subscribe to my channel. Like, share, do all of those wonderful things. Comment below. Let me know what your businesses are. And um, I'll respond back. But thank you guys once again. Bye for now.